What's going on guys and welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, check out my Instagram page, and if you get a chance, go check out my merch store. It is pretty amazing, not gonna lie. But uh, let's get straight into this one. I'm gonna start off with a 1.18 hardcore series. I wanna see how long I can get this going. I just loaded this world up fresh, absolutely 100% new, 1.18 just came out. Uh, I spent about a week and a half on this episode. Uh, I'm gonna do a lot of fast speeds through this one. It's a lot of time lapse, so it looks like I'm moving a lot faster than I should be. All right, to start this world off, I did the best thing you could do, and I started killing animals. Uh, I went after that cow right away and was kind of just running around, didn't really know what I was doing. I was more or less taking in the, the new scenery. Had to kill a couple of these sheep, hoping to get a bed right away. Uh, looking for another couple of sheep, and uh, almost fell into a ravine already. Uh, oh, there's another one. So I ended up getting a bed right away, which helped. I did think about going into that cave, but then I realized that I was on the hardcore and uh, I just started chopping some wood so I could get some tools. And yes, I did leave a floating tree. I'm sorry, uh, but I'm not going to be anywhere near this place. I'm, I'm going to be far, far away. Uh, <clears throat> I want to find a huge mountain with a village close to it. Uh, that's my goal. I don't know how long it's going to take me to find that. Um, but you know, on day one, the best thing to do is get your tools ready and then run around. Uh, I did get everything set up and got my cows and got my food and got my bed, so I was ready to go. So I went on a little adventure to find the perfect place. And uh, about four or five Minecraft days later, I came upon this little mountain, and then I realized that there was a village right next to it. And then almost fell in here, but ran around it. And I had to go check out the village because these mountains actually look pretty cool which would make for a perfect spot for me uh, I'm definitely gonna go check out what's inside all of this village stuff and ransack everything and steal as much as I can from these guys and I'm probably gonna lock a few of them away so I can have some trades here in a little bit I didn't find anything super exciting I found a bunch of food uh, and that's about it. I didn't find any weapons, any armor, or anything else like that. I did run into a few villages on the way and did find some armor, but I didn't really keep too much of it. Like, you know, I don't have too much. So then I decided to climb up the mountain and I found this perfect little spot to set up my base. Uh, I loaded everything into the chest like you should and spent the time to organize it and started cooking up some beef and stuff. And, made it so that the mobs couldn't be around and then had a nice look around. I started planting a bunch of trees just so I could have the the wood that I wanted to and on the way I did find every single type of sapling that I wanted to and this is where we're gonna start my little base at. Um, I'm probably gonna terraform it quite a bit, take some spots down and build it up really good but this view is amazing. I got this nice little river. Uh, it's pretty pretty thick. I got this village down here that I'm going to completely redo. Every single one of those buildings is going to be tore down and I'm going to build a new one. Uh, I'm going to go with the Minecraft uh, medieval feel to it, uh, but not sure if I'm going to do a castle. Uh, I kind of got defeated on the last one just because it got cut off so fast, but I know I'm going to build a bunch of really big stuff. So then I decided that it was time to go mining. I couldn't figure out where I wanted to, to do this mine at and then I decided that if I did towards the bottom then I could kind of dig it out and make a really cool entrance. Um, I'm hoping that this series goes on for a really really long time. I haven't had any run-ins with any mobs quite yet because every time that it was time to sleep I have slept. So that's not really a concern to me right now. Um, but you know, it's it's gonna happen at some point. I know I'm gonna get blown up. Hopefully I have full armor by that time. But if I dig this out, I can make it look very, very interesting, maybe ancient looking. Um, and you know, I, I'm, I'm excited to dig as far down as I can. I think that's, that's the newest thing that I want to do. And I ended up getting my first little set of copper right here, but digging all the way down to negative one six or negative 60, that's way down there. That's going to take me forever to get down there. Especially with iron, that's gonna take forever. So here I started and just went two by two all the way down. Uh, it, I figured I can put stairs on one side and then just leave it normal on the other side. And you know, I, I did spend my time and I did spend the effort on building the stairs all the way up and all the way down. Uh, that did take a lot, but it does save me on time running up and down. So it is kind of a 
give or take type of thing. It did take me a lot longer to make this tunnel than it did to actually put the stairs in and everything else like that, but that's fine. Uh, and I'm just going to keep digging and I dig, dug all the way down to negative 60. I had a nice little secondary base set up right here. Uh, and when I was down here, I was down here in the deep slate level, which I absolutely loved next to bedrock. And then, you know, we just kind of get lucky every once in a while, and then these things pop up. Uh, uh, the one thing I was surprised with these guys is, like, I can't believe, like, I was expecting one, maybe two, right? Uh, but I ended up getting quite a few. I want to see in the comments how many you think that I got out of this. I'm super excited to explore like these new levels of ore and and the veins that you can find where they just continually go on uh, like the copper veins or the iron veins the amount of iron that I've already found just digging straight down here has been incredible I think I already have like a stack stack and a half or something stupid like that uh, but it, it's the the ore generation in these are just amazing um, and and there's a lot more of it which I really enjoy because there's a lot less digging there's a lot more building that's you know involved in this well the only bad thing is halfway through mining these diamonds out and digging out to make sure I could find these because like I said look at how many there is this happened so I had to go back up and then I came back down and I'm just curious how many do you think they're going to get out of this guys let's uh let's hit that comments up and let me know how many diamonds you actually think but I'm going to turn around here really quick get these things all mined out probably I don't know maybe go pickaxe maybe a shovel because that's you know what I need but let's see how many we get three four five if it was an iron it would take a lot less time six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve diamond vein you guys that's that's incredible like if I got a six vein I was excited this is a double that like and, and my first set of diamonds like that's crazy but I'm gonna end up doing a lot of mining here off camera just so I can get enough materials to start my first build and I know my first build is gonna be beyond the size that it needs to be my starter house is gonna be probably as big as most people's you know uh, main building that they build but you guys know how I do. Like, that's that's just how it is. Alright, and there we go. After about six hours of mining and getting everything prepared, I am ready to start my build. And this is where my starter house is going to be. But my starter house is going to have absolutely everything that I want in it. Uh, from my auto smelter to my storage to everything and this is just gonna be my main little house that I look over my village on uh, and I do want to build a wall around my village just to make sure um, I'm gonna have this nice cool little grand staircase leading all the way up um, but let's get into that little house all right guys and after about six hours of building this thing and almost dying three or four times once from a creeper I uh, uh, I finally got this thing done. I don't have too much done. It's a lot of detail on the outside. Um, inside, I haven't done really anything to it. Somehow, some way, I have a sheep stuck in my wall, and I'm not sure how to get him out. And I don't want to kill him because, because you know, he's his head's stuck. But uh, here you go. It's just two levels right now. Grand entrance. You know, the, I haven't even finished the floor. Uh, I just wanted to get everything, you know, recorded and stuff. I have my my shelving over here with all my stuff, and then everything else there's nothing major about this quite yet i am going to make it look spectacular i'm going to end up having a wool farm where uh this guy <laughs> is going to be producing a bunch of wool automated and then i'm going to throw some you know carpet down and stuff like that i still got to add this back door and then take that stuff down and yeah we'll, we'll see how it goes but i mean this is the first you know part of the video but yeah i'm going to do a two-part video on the 100 days uh, i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure you do smash that like button and let me know what you think hit me up in the comments later